Lots to dig into tonight. We're going to start off by taking you out to Little Rock, Arkansas, where the system is nearby right now. There you can see some flooding on roadways, some tricky travel as well across Arkansas. This system will continue to impact more and more people, but as the system weakens additionally as well, we hope that the impacts will be muted. So let's talk a little bit about where the system is currently. There you can see the rain showers and thunderstorms pushing through Little Rock. It's now basically in the former eye wall. Memphis is also going to see some increasing activity for a city right now with some of the heaviest rain showers along the beginning of that frontal boundary, that outer band of the tropical storm. Coastal flood advisory continues for the area where the landfall was made last night. By the way, this system was so accurately forecast, and more information about that can be found on my social media. I'm TV Dave Hubdi on Facebook. There you can see we have a number of advisories, including a tornado watch. There's actually an active tornado warning and a flash flood warning. There's also a watch out for the Memphis area and places off to the north and east. Though winds are down to 40 miles per hour. Remember, at landfall, it was winds of 150 miles per hour, making it the strongest modern hurricane to hit the Louisiana coastline. Yes, the winds were higher than Katrina. There you can see how the system is going to continue to move north and east. It's going to weaken into a tropical depression. And then ultimately, something we call an extra tropical low. It's going to push across the Virginias and up toward the nation's capital into Saturday. And by Sunday, it's moving out to sea. Some places will continue to see up to four or five inches of rain. Just north of Little Rock is our area of the greatest concern. Back onto local conditions. We're in the 60s for most of the coastal valleys and beaches right now. South Coast, we're warm, 80 to 85 degrees, and North County conditions into the middle 80s. The Tascadero, 74. That's pretty nice. There's a breeze, 15 to 20 miles per hour, and that's why we saw sunshine at the beaches today. I think we're going to see less in the way of wind in the upcoming forecast, and here's what that is going to do. Look at the low clouds moving in tonight. Light winds early Friday. The clouds kind of hang very close to the coastline. This is Friday night. You can see how the clouds moving back in. Saturday morning, light winds. Light winds through much of the day Saturday means that a few of these beaches on a beach weekend could see very slow clearing as we get into Sunday, slightly better clearing. Now we're looking at the overall pattern here. We have a trough across the West. It is gonna to continue to dig into the upcoming weekend, meaning temperatures are actually gonna cool down a little bit. However, as we get into next week, a ridge rebuilds across the West and some of the interior temperatures are going to warm early next week. We could see a return of triple digits in some of our interior valleys. But these are pretty good numbers. 92 in Paso, 80 San Luis, 81 Santa Barbara, 75 in Santa Maria. Santinez Valley temperatures near 90. The five cities temperatures lower 70s. North Coast temperatures middle 60s. And my five-day forecast trend Pretty steady. Santa Barbara cools a bit for the upcoming weekend. Paso Robles does as well. But again, you can just see as we get into next week, those temperatures start to ramp back up. See you at six. Back to you.